Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah. Welcome to the channel. And if you're new, also welcome. Thank you very much for subscribing and liking and sharing. I'm using the Ostara Tarot and also the Lightsis and the Audacious Action Angel Tarot uh, Oracle Deck and the Answer of the Angels and the Romance of the Angels. The beautiful decks, if you would like to see all the cards, then please have a look at the reviews. You can find it under the playlist. But this is your reading for the 18th to the 24th of January 2021. And we open up with Judgment, Sagittarius. And Judgment means new beginnings, a second chance at something. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to keep him out of the light because it's very glissy, glissy. Glittery, glittery, sparkling. Look at that light. It looks like the holy divine light is literally with her. That is Angel Archangel Gabriel bringing life to the uh, people that have uh, rising from the dead. Then we have the Four of Wands. Woo! Celebrations. This is really the wedding card. But the wedding card, not everybody else is going to get married again. You know, so I just call it my celebration cards. Also, the four wands represent the four corners of a house. And the house is built on proper foundations. So whatever happens, something is being built on proper foundations. Because if you go to celebrations or a gathering or a, a wedding, you meet people and you might be networking. And these friendships or partnerships or potential partners or colleagues, uh, are these, these, these relationships are built on proper foundations. And that will help your business as well if you network. And they will pass on. And this is how your uh, business grows or your French, uh, friendship circle. And then we have the overall energy. And that is the world. And it's the first time the world has come out in this reading. And you've got Aquarius, a significant person around you. That is an Aquarius. Or you could be meeting up with one of these people. Um, a Taurus, a Leo, and a Scorpio. Okay, the world is your oyster. You might be doing something global. Networking on the computer. You might be traveling around the world. You might be going on holiday. This could be a honeymoon if you're getting married. Okay. This could also be moving home. This card also means you could be moving home because of the four ones representing a home. You might have bought a home. You might have uh, moved in together. You're going up to the next level. The world means the next level so if you're engaged you will be getting married so it's confirming the marriage card awesome okay you might even be crossing water this is also my karma card if you've done good or bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done you wrong or good they will get it back threefold definitely it's a beautiful beautiful card you usually you see somebody balancing with two uh, sticks, I thought I forgot the name, uh, battens, uh, and you are definitely in balance. Awesome, great stuff. You are uh, have the magician, you've got actually, I think, the best reading. If I can remember this, you've got the magician, you've got all the magical cards here. Wow, the magician means um, you are in your power, you've got every tool everything you need within you and around you you've got the gift of the gab you're with two feet on the ground you uh, you come in action um, you're taking action and you um you 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 have your emotions under control you are also very spiritual you can connect with the other worlds that is magic as well remember that this represents Aries and Gemini. Okay, so we've got, let's recuperate, Aquarius, Gemini, um, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Leo and Aries. Then we have got 
strength card. You are in your ultimate strength. Okay. Now, eight, number eight, that's usually the number eight card. So you are also in your powerhouse, the money house. Money is coming towards you, definitely. Moving up to the next level in relationships, in partnerships, um, at work, you could get a promotion. Boom, there you go. Casa, bingo, bingo. Uh, casa is uh, cash, the till, bingo. You've got it. Okay, you are stronger than you know and realize. Perhaps you might realize now. And Leo could be interested in you. Woo! As strength also represents Leo the lion. Here it is a dragon. But your love and your patience has tamed the lion or the dragon within a situation or a person. Awesome. And we've got the sun here describing the judgment, the new beginning, the birth of something new. This could be a birth of a child or a project. You could be going up to the next level like the world in business or relationship or uh, at work, promotions, more money. You're in the spotlight. A Leo again. Okay. Leo. Leo is quite prominent. Leo, Leo, Leo. Wow. Also, the sun means spotlight. Spotlight, you're being noticed. And the sun also illuminates. Illumination means that something, the light is focused on a situation or a question that you have. This also means moving home, going on holiday. Wow. Definitely new beginnings. 19. 9 and 1 is 10. Completion. Again, new beginnings. If you want to get pregnant, then now is the time. Third, the time is fertile. If you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. Awesome. There is competition around you. The five of wands means arguments or disagreements, but the short-lived and competition. So don't be scared because you will have victory. You are in your strength. You have the strength. You have the audacity. You go for what you want, Sagittarius. You are determined and you're a fire sign, so go for it. Don't worry. You might not be in balance, but Competition keeps us on our toes. Then we have the Fool. The Fool says new beginnings. Spread your wings. Don't be scared. Have faith in yourself as others have faith and trust in you. Otherwise you wouldn't be in the spotlight and get promotions. Woo! Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. That is Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So perhaps you might have applied for a job last year uh, in Taurus Virgo and you'll get the news in Capricorn at the beginning of this week. Magic. Right. You could also be meeting one of these people and they and they usually when they start a relationship they go for the duration and long term as it, they need tangibility. You might be up in your head about it about something don't worry, get out of your head. You've got so many positive cards. Believe in yourself. You don't believe in yourself enough, Sagittarius. That's my experience with you. You doubt yourself too much. Don't. You are awesome. But just be open to suggestions. Think about them. Um, and that is your strength. Take the time out. Be patient and love yourself and think about things okay because there's office coming in and you're not seeing it because you're too much in your head or depressed now the la uh, the card is chemistry you might meet somebody new like i've said there's a lot of different zodiac signs here if you're not hooked up and if you're hooked up it might be work or business there's strong magnetic attraction yes and um, I'm getting to hear sword looks for sword, whether it's romance or in business. You, specifically you Sagittarius, you like to have the same sort of people around you. Intelligent, 
strategic, logical, and know what they want and take action and go for what they want. You don't like stagnators. Only if you believe, what did I say? Trust yourself, have faith. Only if you believe will it come true. And the last card is power up. You must take your rest. You must rejuvenate. Don't burn the candles at both sides because you fire signs keep on going on and on and on until you're burned out and then you drop everything and then you lose the faith, you lose the trust and then you won't finish the project. So rest up, take time out. Okay. Okay. That is my message to you. Be transparent. Take time out. Take care of yourself. Take a page out of the Earth's um, book. Slow but steady and it will grow and you will see the return. Be patient. Love yourself and love others. That is your strength. Patience and love. Wow. Magic. Okay. There will be chemistry, and I know you fire signs are passionate. There's lots of passion here. Okay, use it wisely. Use your wisdom. Be the magician. You hold the key to your life path and your decisions. You're the keeper of your life and your path. I love this reading. Take care, and I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Please like and share. Be blessed and stay safe. Ciao, ciao.